Today, I added 375,000 shares between these four high risk penny stocks, and I will explain exactly why I did this and show my buys for each four of these stocks. Three out of the four of these stocks I'm covering today are under a penny. And the one that is above a penny just recently secured government contracts and is continuing to try to capture these government contracts. Keep in mind, all of these players are very high risk and this is not financial advice. It's just what I'm personally doing to build my portfolio and make sure you have the notification bell turned on because these videos are time sensitive. If you want to buy or sell any of these OTC stocks, click the interactive brokers link in the top pin comment, sign up, click the interactive brokers link. And if you want a free share of AMC and five free stocks after that free share of AMC, AMC, sign up with the Moomoo link and deposit $100 to get that AMC share. They're running it over there on Moomoo. First stock we're jumping into, ticker MVNT at a $13 million market cap at $0.04 cent right now. I added 25,000 shares of MVNT to my position today. You can see 223 order filled. My buy was a bit aggressive at 0.42. When I believe it is very possible, we see MVNT go back below $0.04 cent in these market conditions but I'm very bullish on this play in 2022. If I were to add more, it would be below 4 cent. MVNT is an energy, oil, gas, and renewables play that I believe has a chance to become one of the next monsters in the OTC. And with the catalyst this play has, including their government contracts, this is why I believe it's going to be a monster. And with oil moving towards $100 a barrel, these low float, low market cap, high revenue and high future revenue oil and gas plays are performing very well in this market. The reason why I bought shares, they have planned for 100 million revenue organically. They posted this in a PR. The company originally planned to achieve 100 million revenue through acquisitions. However, now the company has a game plan to meet this goal organically. They are onboarding a new CFO and have announcements after they post quarter four financials. And they said this on February 17th. And they're basically hinting that, guys, shareholders, look out for the quarter four financials. And usually when a company is reminding you about their upcoming financials, it means they are going to have solid numbers. And since they are hiring a CFO, they must have been successful in their recent expansion and bringing in these revenues. Think about it. Why would they be telling us, look out for these financials if they're going to be bad financials? No company would do that. Another reason I believe the revenue will be good is the PR on January 12th. They stated with the increased activities in the oil and gas market, the company fully expects its pumps and valve to vision to increase sales and revenues. In October 2021, they stated in a PR, we are continuing to grow our revenue with new engineering projects. We are also proud to report that the company has also been approved by the United States government for pursuit of government contracts. I would like to congratulate our team for the many hours of work to secure new contracts, as well as the additional time and effort in positioning our company for the potential upcoming governmental contracts. On January 12th, they stated currently in negotiations to secure contracts for additional revenue. They launched a product ICAM in 2021. They have projects in Canada, Europe, and Asia. They supply engineering contractors and they're securing larger government contracts. I'm very bullish on MVNT. Next stock ticker AAPT0096 right now, a $25 million market cap. Yesterday, I added another 120,000 shares of AAPT to my position at 0087 at 0088. AAPT acquired the tech company Quora last year. This is not a pet company. Quora is a leader in the industrial on-demand talent. Our business plan includes expanding our vertical markets while adding businesses and additional talent for our platform users benefit. Our capital requirements are focused on building core operations and adding customers. The number one catalyst is the quarter four 2021 and the quarter one 2022 financials. AAPT has not posted financials since Quora was acquired. So AAPT, the stock ticker AAPT, is about to go from zero revenue on paper to over 8 million in 2021 because Quora merged into the ticker AAPT last year in quarter four. And they're going to be auditing the financials with an 8 million revenue in 2021. And AAPT projects Quora to do 20 million revenue this year and get to 250,000 users and 100 million revenue by 2024. This is the PowerPoint the company Quora posted where they're planning 20 million revenue and they also have $5 million on hand to add talent and to acquire more companies, which they plan to do. 20 million revenue in 2022 at a $25 million market cap right now. So think about that and decide. Most companies in the same market as AAPT and Quora, Fiverr, for example, because AAP, because Quora is a freelancing company 
where you can go on there and you can hire people to, let's say, design a graphic for, let's say, for your YouTube channel or for your business. Quora is similar to Fiverr. I've, I even use Fiverr myself to get my logo for my YouTube channel. And these companies usually trade at 15x multiples to their revenue. Fiverr has 189 million revenue and trades at a $2.5 billion market cap. Quora is at a 20 five million market cap and they plan for 20 million revenue this year so take that as you will and if apt traded at a 15x multiple of their 2022 revenue projections that would put the market cap at 300 million and at a 15x multiple of the revenue they already did in 2021 that would put the market cap at 124 million. And remember, APT is at a $25 million market cap right now. Wara and APT own 18 copyrights and four trademarks. But keep in mind, y'all, that this revenue, this 20 million revenue projection in 2022 is excluding the acquisitions that they plan in 2022. So there's a lot of potential for APT. They got back to pink current. They had an issue recently where they weren't pink current for a little bit. They're back at pink current now. It was the OTC market issue. And they this is a company that has real revenue. They're not diluting. They actually recently reduced the outstanding shares. They're not increasing the float from where it's at now. So I am bullish on AAPT. Click the Discord link in the top pinned comment to get all these plays from this channel early. Jay made a quick 200% trade for a quick $1,000 from a Discord alert on Thursday. Link in the top pinned comment. Next talk, ILST currently sitting at 005 right now at a $12 million market cap. I added another 150,000 shares of ILST. And I have some detective style information to share because right now it is just a waiting game with ILST for their merger reveal. And this is a high risk play because we don't know who the company is that's coming in. It's a shell company. The new company that is coming in has already taken over the shell and they're merged in. We just don't know who the company is yet because they have not revealed it yet. As you can see, Opportunity Zone, which is a company that is facilitating the merger, said the merger company has been informed that is all set to take over completely. They should be coming out with news soon. We have not got that news yet. And it's a company in the fintech, DeFi, blockchain, metaverse, NFT, crypto and gaming industry. And they are evaluating further acquisition candidates while they are currently waiting to reveal the first acquisition that is coming into ILST. The interim CEO, who is Karen Courier, who is also the CFO of OWUV, which was a thousand percent runner on this channel. Karen Courier has a very great reputation in the OTC market for helping these merger companies merge into new tickers and helping clean up these tickers with their debt and their share structure. And I took a look at Karen Courier's Twitter, who remember, she's the interim CEO of ILST and she liked the post on Twitter that said the market is crap. I would hold back any significant news. So it seems like Karen is holding back the big news for one of her companies, OWUV. And if she liked that tweet, it could be the same situation for ILST and they are waiting for positive sentiment to return before dropping significant news. Keep in mind, ILST is a high risk play, but the potential reward at these levels, in my personal opinion, is extreme if the company they reveal is a big one and they do actually have further acquisitions even after the first reveal. So I am bullish on this one. It's high risk. But the previous management opportunity zone who facilitated this merger, they said in a Zoom call that ILST has OTCQX potential to actually uplist onto the OTCQX, which is a minimum 25 cent price per share and 6 million revenue to get listed on OTCQX. So keep that in mind. I am I'm bullish on ILST. Hopefully there's not any issues going on behind the scene, but from this tweet and this little detective style information that I, that I grabbed up, it does seem like they're kind of holding this news back for the market sentiment to get a little bit better. Another absolutely beaten down play that I added today, ticker JPEX008 right now, down 10% of the day at a $13 million market cap. I added 100,000 shares of JPEX today at 0085. You can see my order right there. And what you need to know is JPEX is a cybersecurity company that owns VMost. Type in VMost on Google and the Russian and Ukraine conflict creates the best time for cybersecurity stocks in a decade. 
right now, in my personal opinion, if you look into cybersecurity stocks in general, it's a really good time to start getting into them. And this is one on the OTC that has a very bright future. VMS has revenue, no debt and no dilution, and they plan two more acquisitions that will add to set up to 17 million revenue. VMS has served over 1 million users and has been around since 2003. VMS is partnered with Microsoft and Cisco and other larger cybersecurity companies. They launched VShield Cloud Security last month, and this is a little picture of their new product. Payment processing and crypto trading platform launches coming in quarter two. Smart wearables launches coming in quarter three. Military grade RFID is coming in quarter four, 2022. And this is the new one that I just noticed on the on the VMOS website. Advanced vital sign microchips are actually coming soon. That's brand new. JPEGs is a pipeline of over 75 million in contracts and services from both government and enterprise organizations. And this is all on the website, y'all. So I am picking up shares at JPEGs while they are low. Now, this is also high risk, so keep that in mind. But the company that has merged into JPEGs is V most and they have revenue they're not diluting you know they're at a 13 million dollar market cap a decent share structure and i'm i'm bullish on jpex at these levels and it could move lower from here so can ilst and so can a few of these others with these market conditions we have right now obviously that's possible you see what's going on in the world so keep that in mind don't forget to drop a like on the video click the interactive brokers link join the private discord and comment down below peace